Bitcoin has struggled here, even when the U.S. stock market was ripping higher. We saw the dollar collapsing yesterday, breaking a key trend line. Bitcoin's not breaking out here. What's going on? Well, needless to say, it's at a pivotal level. Literally for the last month, I've been saying, guys, watch the 28,500 to 30,500 level. That is your major resistance level. That is the biggest level in Bitcoin, the biggest by far level in Bitcoin. All right. And again, that's the key here to understand that that is your level. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have Gareth Soloway giving us the latest market update as well as the current direction for Bitcoin, Ethereum, and cryptocurrency as a whole in the next week. Soloway notes that Bitcoin is facing a significant resistance level between 28,500 to 30,500. Currently, Bitcoin is sitting just below 27,900. And if it doesn't break out in the next three days, there could be a big sell-off next week. He also notices that there is an inverse relationship between the performance of cryptocurrencies and the value of the dollar. Soloway believes that the markets are very close to a major pivot and has studied past cycles, which has confirmed his analysis. He discusses recent market movements and why the importance of the dollar chart is more crucial than ever. Soloway also identifies a downsloping trend line that the S&P 500 recently ran into, which suggests a potential pullback as well. Let's check out the latest interview with Gareth Soloway. If you enjoy the content we do here, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get right into the video. We have some big stuff to discuss on Bitcoin. So Bitcoin, again, guys, continues to hammer on this upper level. I'm going to tell you this. You now have three days left, three days left to break out. If you don't break out in the next three days, you should see a big sell off next week. So ticking, 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 tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, right? We're looking at a scenario here. Is there a strong trend line resistance from 64 to 47 to 29? We can flip back to Bitcoin real quick and just see what we got on that one. Um, so it's from 64, you're looking at this trend line here. Yep. Yeah, that, that actually just adds even more resistance. So actually, I didn't see this one before. Congrats, Brock. You're on point on this. That is a trend line. Now, granted, we were above it, but look at how it was reestablished here, guys. This is some pretty cool stuff, and I love teaching in this. So you had this line here, right? Then you broke above it, and then look at how you came below. Actually, you hit it here. Notice right there, you had a little hit right there then you broke below and then look at how it re-established i love how trend lines can re-establish themselves right there and there and then if we pop up that's going to be more resistance so this adds to the key kind of factor of saying can bitcoin break out above thirty thousand or so sure it could but probabilities my friends that is the key here with bitcoin and bitcoin right now doesn't mean it can't break out it might but the probabilities still say tons of resistance in this range. Let's keep an eye on that. Let's go to ETH here real quick and see what we got on that one. Ethereum is pushing up here, guys. I have a target price on Ethereum of 2000. So 2000 is going to be your little resistance here. You are trying to break out of an upsloping channel. That's semi impressive. Notice how many times you've hit against it. But right up here is your next level. Look to short Ethereum off of 2000 unless proven otherwise. In other words, if it confirms above. Here's the S&P 500 chart. Take a look, guys. And again, on the S&P 500, look at yesterday's high right into a down sloping trend line. Take a look at this. When we look right there, we look right here, and then look at this pivot point right there. Does it make sense that the markets opened higher on Tuesday yesterday and pulled back? The answer is just from this chart, absolutely. The markets ran almost vertically into a brick wall, this trend line being a brick wall. Now remember, when you run into resistance, the general prognosis is a pullback. The question is, after you pull back, do you break out? or do you break uh, break back down? All right, so there's two possibilities here. One is we consolidate in a bull flag where we start to do sideways consolidation. And this is really key, guys. A bull flag is a general vertical move. Bull flag starts with the consolidation. It's either 90 degrees or it can be a slope of 45. Anywhere between 90 and 45 degrees, that is okay for a bull flag. That's what we're looking for here. Do we get that bull flag consolidation pattern or do we just see a sharp pullback? In my personal opinion, I think the markets are very close to a major pivot. I've done calculations. I've looked at cycles. We're very, very close. Going into next week, we may see a sharp turn lower in the S&P 500. 
We got to look at the dollar chart real quick. The dollar absolutely plays into some major things here. Do we have a major drop in the dollar? And by the way, this is one of the reasons why I'm perplexed with Bitcoin and a little nervous about Bitcoin breaking out is because here you had the dollar breaking some major support and Bitcoin should have been breaking to the upside. It hasn't done that yet. Doesn't mean it won't play catch up, but that is interesting to me. Upsloping trend line from 2021 through the pivot low here at 2023, right to this point. And then look at the breakdown that just occurred yesterday. All right, major wedge pattern breakdown. So that tells me again, number one, it tells me that gold is gonna be in good shape. Yeah, gold will pull back here and there, but ultimately gold probably goes higher. But also what's going on there with with Bitcoin, why isn't it breaking out? I mean, Ethereum's moving higher. Bitcoin so far is not. That's an interesting situation. Gold. Gold staging another up move today. This is real-time action on gold right here. Another green candle. Look at the flag pattern breakout, guys. Again, flag. Look at that pretty, pretty flag. Here's your flag pole. And this is what I talk about in flags, right? So look at the angles of this. It's a sideways consolidation that's generally 45 to 90 degrees. And again, it forms this sideways chop. That's consolidation or digestion of the recent up move. That's very, very bullish. Notice how it happened above this down sloping trend line. Pivot high right here, right? Pivot high right here. And then here we broke out, we retraced, we consolidated, now we're breaking out. Where's your short-term target? Right up here. So you're looking at 2075, 2080, double top. It actually would be a triple top. So here's your double top right up here. And let's say we go straight up there. The essence of the pullback should bring us back to that former pivot high and consolidation. So you would put a line here in at around 1960. And if we hit this level, let me draw a trend line here so you guys get this. So if we go up here, you should get a pullback here to about this 1960, 65 level. You also have the down sloping line, but less likely will go there. The bottom line is we recheck back to this pivot high, all this consolidation, and that becomes your buying opportunity for the next leg up. Off to the race as we go. I am now isolating down about a $2,300 price target on gold by year end. I think, again, I've showed you guys this in the past, and I think it's remarkable. But if you go to the 1970s, you had a 9x on gold from the lows of the consolidation. Now, we're not going to do 19x. Let's not get fooled by that. All right, 9, 9x was in a world without Bitcoin, without a lot of alternatives for investments. Do I think we can do a 3x? Yes. Do I think we're going north of 5,000 over the next two, couple years? I absolutely do on gold. Soloway expresses confusion over the recent price action of Bitcoin, which has failed to break out despite the dollar breaking major support. His technical analysis suggests that Bitcoin could potentially rally above 30,000 if it breaks 28.5. And based on chart signals, Soloway emphasizes the importance of waiting for significant moves before making any decisions. With Bitcoin's potential for significant growth, it will be interesting to see how the cryptocurrency market develops in the coming months. What do you think about Gareth Soloway's Bitcoin prediction and where the market will land in the next few weeks? Comment down below. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is Library of Wealth. We'll see you in the next video.